Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez once again here. Uh, when you get a new printer and you open it up, you open that box and look through all the contents that they provide you, quite often you will see a CD or possibly a DVD containing software. Well, most people will take that disc, install it on their computer, open it up and install that particular driver. But most of the time that driver is already outdated. So I recommend that you don't do that. In fact, some modern computers don't even have a disk drive. So what you better do to get the newest, most up-to-date driver is to go to either Canon USA or Epson USA, or if you're in Europe, the equivalent, and download that particular driver. Now, my Canon USA site automatically will find the correct driver. All I have to do is type in the printer model that I am trying to download software for. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. Okay, so here we are in the Canon USA site. I'm going to go ahead and type in Pro 1000. It immediately finds it and allows me to go to the download section. And it gives me the recommended softwares that they recommend. So notice for however here, it tells me exactly what my operating system is. If you're a Mac, again, this is why I recommend doing this because a lot of people tend to just plug in their printer and let the Mac OS find a driver. And often you end up with maybe the AirPrint driver. And that is basically a featureless driver. It's kind of a generic driver that works with uh, most printers. But it just will not have the actual options that the Canon specific driver for that printer may offer. So I recommend that you go there and then it will detect your OS, whatever Mac OS you're running on. And it will then allow you to see what their recommended drivers are. So here is a full driver software package. I usually don't get that one unless I want everything. I'll go ahead and usually download exactly what I want. And uh, again, all of these choices are tailored for my operating system, which in this case is Windows 10, 64-bit. And so that's what is detected. Now, if it does not match for whatever the reason, you click on that. And here are all the early versions, all those horrible versions of Windows way back in the past, including Windows 11, which my computer just cannot handle at this point. So anyway, that is it. That's all you have to do. So by doing so, you will be guaranteed that you have the most up-to-date driver for your printer. Now, you can also download firmware if you wish to do that. If you are refilling... Okay, if your printer allows you to refill, I would recommend that you kind of hold up on that because sometimes, especially with Epson printers, they may have some detrimental effects as far as, say, the chips not being recognized any longer on your refillable cartridges, that sort of thing. So you want to stay away from updating your firmware if you are refilling. If you are not refilling, you're using nothing but OEM cartridges, and by all means, go ahead and update everything. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And until the next time, happy printing, everybody, and bye-bye.